genetics, DNA. You might know how important those things are to things like medicine and farming, but what about conservation? We're going to take you behind the scenes at the UK's only zoo-based conservation genetics lab, RZSS Wild Genes, right here at Edinburgh Zoo. We'll find out about the cutting-edge technology they're using to help save threatened species all around the world. So, let's go and meet the team. Tucked away behind the Rhino House here at Edinburgh Zoo is a high-tech genetics laboratory. Inside, the RZSS Wild Genes team are working away on conservation genetics projects to help save threatened species from capercaillie to wildcat and crocodiles through to antelopes. This facility has been operating for over 10 years now, thanks largely to support from players at People's Postcode Lottery. Your genes are part of the blueprint that make you, you. But why is understanding genetics important for saving threatened species? To answer that, I'm going to hand over to Dr. Alex Ball, who heads up the Wild Genes team and manages all of the conservation genetics work that we do here at RZSS. RZSS Wild Genes is the only zoo-based conservation genetics laboratory in the UK. This puts us in a really unique position. We use genetics to tackle conservation priorities both in the UK and globally all around the world. We work in five main themes. Uh, the illegal wildlife trade, uh, in situ population monitoring of wild populations, ex situ captive management, ecology and uh, reintroduction and translocation projects. These are all really key priorities within conservation and we can use genetics in various ways to tackle each of them. Wild Genes is made up of some truly world-class scientists, each of whom has their own role to play on the team. From skilled technicians to genius data crunchers, RZSS Wild Genes has it all. My role is mainly performing DNA extraction. To extract the DNA, we obviously need animal samples. They can be from blood, tissue, hair, bone, even poo samples. It's also my responsibility to make sure these samples are stored and database properly. Knowing that the sample come from very endangered animal and across the globe, we want to make sure they are safe in our land. I'm proud to say my little role in this field has a big impact on global conservation. As I said, Wild Genes works on lots of um, collaborative projects and in these projects we get sent lots of samples from either other zoological institutions that we work with or they might come from um, places in the wild where they've been collected by field researchers. So they'll send them here to the lab and our job here, and what I do here, is to take those samples and get as much DNA out of them as I can. We're getting lots of endangered species or understudied species like um, the scimitarned oryx and the adats and pygmy hippos. There's not been a lot of work done on them, so we have to take these tests that developed on similar species and then we have to optimise them, which means getting them to work really well for the samples that we're working on. The samples that Jen and Jal process produce huge amounts of data. These data need to be analysed in order to answer the conservation genetics questions that are important for the threatened species the team works on. Conservation genetic scientists like Dr Cara Dix are a key part of Wild Gene's cutting edge work. You'll rarely find me in the lab. I'm usually sat at a computer uh, crunching genetic data. One of the common questions our Wild Genes team are asked to answer is how much genetic diversity a population of a threatened species has. This is a really important metric for species conservation. Genetic diversity is really important for threatened species because it allows them to adapt to a changing environment, for example, climate change or diseases might, that might threaten the survival of that population. Clearly, the Wild Genes team includes some pretty amazing people, but there are lots of other things about Wild Genes that make it special too. The Wild Genes is really unique being based at a zoo. We're on that interface between academia and applied conservation on the ground. And we're trying to bridge that gap, bringing techniques and technologies that are being developed within academia and research institutions and using them for applications that are going to make a difference to conservation. Wild Genes is not just a lab. We also share our expertise with other organisations around the world to build capacity in countries that really need it to preserve the conservation priorities in their regions. Wild Genes also hosts a biobank here on site at Edinburgh Zoo. We collaborate with Cryoarks and IASA in hosting those biobanks. And this is really important for long-term preservation of uh, genetic samples so we can also tackle new questions in the future. 
Hopefully, this has given you an idea of what the RZSS Wild Genes team is all about and how genetic information can help save threatened species. Over the next two episodes, we're going to be taking a deep dive into some of the projects that Wild Genes are working on right now. You'll meet species you may never even have heard of, from the smiling Siamese crocodile to the desert-dwelling Arax. Make sure you tune in to find out more about the wonderful world of Wild Genes.